Hello guys, welcome to this new packet tracer activity. And in this activity, what we're going to do is configure this point-to-point -point network to be able to do a point-to-point -point configuration on this zero link, on this zero link, and also on this zero link that is connected to an ISP or internet network provider. So let's go ahead and take a look at this activity. I'm going to move this over here. So we have more space um, to take a look at this configuration. Okay, so this is configuring PAP and CHAP authentication. And in this activity, you will practice configuring PPP encapsulation on serial links. You will also configure PPP with PAP authentication and PPP point to point with CHAP authentication. Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and view the configurations on all routers. We're viewing the router configuration. Note they use both static and dynamic routes in this topology. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Make this bigger for you guys. Enable. Let's just do a show run. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have a serial link to the ISP, to router 2, and to router 1. And we are redistributing re static route. And that static route, route is this one right here, which is going to the ISP provider. OK, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And show IP routes from here. And you can see that we have that static route that is being sent to router 1 via EIGRP, which is router 3 is that's doing that and we have also three um, EIGRP routes 192.168.30.0 which goes to router 2 over here network and we also have this one over here which goes to the um, internet or the ISP and we also have this 10.2.2.2 10.2.2.0 okay which goes over here Let's take a look at router 2. Show IP run or IP route. And here we have the same. We have the static route being sent via ERGRP. And then we have this three ERGRP route, 10 .1 1 1 .0, which is this one over here, 192.168.10.0, which is this one over here. Okay. And we also have this 209.165.200. 225 or 224 which goes to the ISP or the internet service provider and let's take a look at the next step so test connectivity between computers and the web server so we got to pin this web server from the PC and laptop make sure that everything is working And as you can see, we were able to ping that server and we also got a reply from it. Let's see if we can ping it from the laptop. And here it is, we're able to ping that server and also get a reply from that server over here. So this is good. Let's go to the next step, which is configure R1 to use point to point encapsulation with router 3. So let's go ahead and go to this interface and do encapsulation PVP. And we're also going to have to do it on router 2 with router 3. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to config terminal. Zero interface. P um, encapsulate using PVP. And I went down and it went down because the router 3 is not using, it's not encapsulation using PVP. So we have to tell it to use PVP as well. And that you, you can see right here that it went down. Let's make it go up now. Oops. So encapsulation PVP. 
and now this interface should go up there you go it went up now we have to do the same on the router 2 and they are using interface 0 slash 0 slash 1 we have to put 0 interface and then encapsulation PPP let's go ahead and do the same on router 2 and there you go it went up it went down and then it went up okay so that's good now all of this is working using encapsulation PPP or point to point let's go back to the activity we already did this and also we already did that as well we haven't done this one though so this is configure ISP to use PPP encapsulation with router 3 so we have to go to this interface let's copy this interface and we have to go to the ISP and configure this encapsulation then we have to go back in the upper left by pressing this okay configure Okay, so let's go ahead and do this on this interface on that ISP, which is over here, ISP, encapsulation, PPP, and it went down. So what we have to do is configure that encapsulation on router, let's copy this. Let's go back and let's go to router 3 and tell it the same. So interface 0, 0, 1, slash 0, encapsulation PPP. There you go. Now this interface went up, so that's good. That's working correctly. Let's go back here. Let's see what we have next. Test the connectivity. We should be able to ping this server still because they are all using point to point to encapsulate so let's go ahead and test that connectivity now there we go we're still able to ping that server and get a reply from it let's try it from here and there it is so we are encapsulation using point to point on the three zero links now let's see what we have next what we have next is configure point to point to use PAP authentication between router 1 and router 3 so the way we do this we have to create this username first and username router 3 secret is going to be the password for that is going to be class so let's go ahead and go here and I believe this is for router 1 yep and yep we have to stay here oh actually we have to go back and configure this username okay and then we can go to the interface um, point to point authentication using PAP and then the next step is we have to tell it that the router 1 password is Cisco then after that we have to configure the router 1 to use Cisco let's go over here paste that over here so Point to point using PAP authentications and using a router one Cisco. Okay, now that interface is went down, so we have to configure on this side. So we have have to go to router three, and on router three, we need to exit. Paste this one over here. And the password that is using for router for router one is Cisco. So you can see over here. So we have to configure this one to use Cisco. And now we can go to the interface zero link. This one over here zero slash zero slash zero. PVP authentication using PAP. And now we gotta tell it that the um, password 
for this one for router 3 it's class which is the same that we sent over here so we can authenticate and that link should go, should, should go up after that let's give it a couple seconds to make sure that it goes up and it didn't go up let's do a shutdown now shut down see if it comes up the interface came up but let's take a look at this configuration see what I did wrong so for router 3 is class class so I didn't so what I did one was that for username it's supposed to be router 1 instead of router 3 so let's go ahead and exit let's say right here now and then router 1 there it is the interface went up now we have to do the same on this side so we have to configure instead of router 1 we need to give router 2 and let's stay with Cisco now we need to go to this interface which is zero link zero slash zero slash one and we are using PTP authentication is PAP now it went down and then after that we need to actually configure so PPP PAP send username and what username or let's see send username send username for router 3 right and the password I'm going to set it up as this one is using router 2 Cisco so let's go ahead and set it up as class and now let's go to router 2 and configure a username for router 3 so username router 3 this is case sensitive and secret the secret that we're going to put it needs to be class let's see yep needs to be class and now let's go to the interface point to point authenticate using PAP and now PA point to point send username and we're going to send that username from here router 2 password and the password that we set up here for router 2 was Cisco so let's go ahead and set up a Cisco and there you go that interface went up and up so we set up these two serial link interfaces using or authenticating using PAP now let's go ahead and see what's the next step repeat the step on router 2 and router 3 we already did that so now let's go and go to the ISP and we gotta change the host name first so let's go to the ISP exit hostname ISP and then after that we need to do username um, secret it's going to be Cisco right username oh I just, just let's just paste it here and then I believe this one is using interface this interface now we have to do a PPP authenticate using chap this time okay yep using chap and now let's go to router 3 and do the same and the password for ISP is going to be Cisco because they're both using Cisco let's go ahead and copy this let's go ahead and go to router 3 so let's go back 
Flutter 3 and we have to go to this serial link interface now which is 01 010 zero zero. and now let's tell it point to point authenticate using chap okay let's exit to the username ISP this is case sensitive and then secret it's going to be let's see what we set it up to so it has to be Cisco there it is this interface now went up let's see what we have next so now let's test connectivity between computers and the web server so let's go ahead and ping the web server one more time and there it is we're able to ping that server and we got a reply from it now let's go ahead and test it from the laptop and there we go we were, we were able to ping that web server and we also got a reply so we are finished with this activity and you can go ahead and check results and there we go congratulations you have successfully completed the packet tracer activity configuring point to point links so this is it for this video and if you guys enjoy go ahead and hit that subscribe button like my video and also share it and if you want to also or if you have a twitter account go ahead and follow me at ccna daily tips thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye